is up ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm going to show you 10 getting started tips for new OS X users. Let's look. The first tip is sort of an obvious one, enabling right click and adjusting the tracking speed on your mouse or trackpad. So you can see how slow my tracking is on my mouse here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and change that and enable right clicking. So let's click on system preferences in the dock and then click on mouse. And now just click the check mark box next to secondary click and that will enable right click. Now below that, you can use the slider to adjust the tracking speed. I like to put mine right about there and you can see that my mouse is moving much quicker and I can also right click, placing the dock on the side of the screen. Now this is a tip that I really enjoy. You can place the dock on the side of the screen by going to system preferences, clicking on dock, and then using the position on screen little section and clicking the left radio button there. And you'll see that the dock moves from the bottom of the screen to the left side of the screen just like that. Now why would you do this? Well, you get more vertical real estate, which is limited when compared to horizontal real estate, and that's the main reason why I choose to do this. I know everyone won't agree, but try it out for a week. You might like it. Minimize windows into application icon. When you minimize a window on a fresh OS X install, you're gonna notice that that window minimizes into the dock, into its own space on the dock, for that matter, as you can see here. And when you have just a couple of items in your dock, that's not a huge deal, right? But when you start to have multiple items in your dock, that can fill up really quickly and it can cause your dock to become unwieldy. So let me open up a couple of other applications here and minimize them. You see the app store is there minimized. I'll open up iBooks and minimize it. So you can see that the dock is growing because of these extra uh, minimized applications down here. To fix this though, we can go into system preferences, go into dock, and then check this option here, minimize windows into application icon. And what that's gonna do is that it's gonna make any minimized window minimize into its own application icon so it doesn't take up extra space on your dock. So you can see here that Safari window minimized into the Safari application icon on your dock. The App Store window minimizes into the App Store app and the iBooks window minimizes into the iBooks app. So all you need to do is just right click on an app icon to see which open application windows are there. So right click here, there's iBooks. And I can also right click and select show all windows and I can see all open windows right down below, just like that. Enable show desktop hot corner. Now, of course, there are keyboard shortcuts that can be used to show desktop quickly, but what if you wanna assign a quick shortcut to your mouse? Well, you can do that by going to system preferences, clicking on mission control, clicking hot corners, selecting one of the four hot corners, I choose the bottom left one, and then choosing desktop, and then click OK, and then close out of system preferences. Now when I move my mouse to the bottom left hand corner of the screen, I can quickly show my desktop and access any files or folders on my desktop. Pretty awesome. Enable three finger drag with trackpad. For some reason, Apple decided to make it a little more difficult to utilize this, the three finger drag with the trackpad but I'm gonna show you how you can easily re-enable that three finger drag gesture so that you can move applications, you can move icons on your, on your desktop, you can move any content using a simple three finger drag. So all we need to do is go into system preferences and we're gonna go down to not trackpad as you might think, but we're gonna go down to accessibility right here. All right, and then you wanna scroll down until we see mouse and trackpad, click that, and then click trackpad options. Now click enable dragging and now from the drop down menu select three finger drag and now just click okay close out of system preferences and now we can use our three finger drag gesture on the trackpad to move content on screen just like this so necessary show keyboard emoji and symbol viewers in the menu bar now, of course, you can access your emoji and symbols by going up to edit and then using the show emoji and symbols shortcut, just like this. But you can also place a quick shortcut directly in your menu bar to quickly access the full version of the emoji and symbols viewer. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All you need to do is go to system preferences, click on where it says keyboard, and then click show keyboard emoji and symbol viewers in menu bar under the keyboard section. Once you do that, you're gonna see this new icon in your menu bar, and then you can quickly click it to show emoji and symbols, just like this. So here's the full version of the emoji and symbol viewer. 
And this is nice because of the way the emojis and symbols are laid out. Uh, just sort of makes more sense in my opinion. And it also allows you just like from the shortcut version to search for a particular character. It shows related characters as well. You can also drag a character directly to a document that you're working on. You can add to favorites. So I definitely prefer the full fledged version of the emoji and symbol viewer. And you can quickly access that directly from your menu bar. Set full keyboard access to all controls. Now that may seem a bit ambiguous, but listen up. Click keyboard in system preferences, click shortcuts, and then you'll see this, all controls. Now, if you don't select all controls, when you use tab on your keyboard, it only tabs between text boxes. But if you select all controls and you tab, it tabs between everything that you can actually control with your keyboard, which is nice. So that allows you to uh, submit forms and things of that nature using your keyboard only, not having to rely on a mouse. This is super nice. Highly recommend you set it to all controls so you can tab like this instead of only being able to tab between text input boxes. Super handy, highly recommend it. Clean up the finder. Now you may have noticed that I have an external disk displayed on my desktop and by default that's how the finder works in OS X upon reinstall. But all you need to do is go into the finder preferences and uncheck the hard disk, external disk, CDs, DVDs, etc. You can also set it to show desktop for a new finder window. I like to do that instead of all files. I also like to go into the sidebar and check on things like music and pictures. I also like to uncheck the tag section as well. But admittedly, most of this is personal preference. Disable shadow zone screenshots. Speaking of personal preferences, this is definitely one of my pet peeves of OS X. And when you reinstall OS X, it defaults to displaying screenshots with a shadow around that screenshot. So you can see right here on the edge of the screenshot, there is a shadow there. That's done for aesthetic purposes. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that, although I know some people really love it. So it's just gonna be up to you whether you wanna keep that. But I am gonna show you how to disable it by going to Launchpad, clicking on Other, clicking on Terminal, and we're gonna use a terminal command to disable screenshot shadow. So just wanna put this in default space right, space com.apple.screen capture, space disable, dash shadow, space dash bool, space true, and then enter. And now we're gonna just type in kill all space system UI server. And then enter. And now when we take another screenshot, you're gonna notice that that shadow is no longer there. So I'll just open up the app store app again and then command shift four spacebar and then click with my mouse. And now let's compare these two screenshots. Here's the one without the shadow and with the shadow. Notice the difference. Definitely like the one without the shadow. Add a shortcut to the library. Now, if you don't consider yourself to be a power user, you may not need to add a shortcut to your user library, but I find it extremely handy. By default, OS X hides the user library, and inside that folder, you're gonna find things like application support, preferences for applications, etc. Now to show that library, all you need to do is click the Go menu in Finder and hold the Option key, and you're gonna see the library appear. Just click Library while you hold the Option key, and here you go. Here is the user library. I mentioned application support. I mentioned the preferences folders. Bottom line, there are many useful things to be found in the user library. Now what I recommend doing is just clicking the Columns view, and then you'll see the library. You see it's actually a hidden folder there, but you can just drag that library folder Folder over to your sidebar in your finder under favorites so you can quickly access the library at any time directly from a finder window. So again, not everyone will need this, but if you do, it's really nice to have a quick shortcut to the folder. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at 10 different getting started tips for new Mac users and new OS X installs. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.